happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us is the Silva Bryson. This is an AM FM weather band portable radio. You can find it selling on Amazon for $16.99. Keep an eye out. I think I got mine for $13 on sale. So definitely a worthy radio. I like it. Let's check it out. Here we go. Silva Bryson. I don't know who that is. If that's a person or just a company name. It looks like a Toshiba model, the way it's set up. Tabletop form factor. Uh, running on AA batteries. I really like it. Does good. All right. So on the back here, picture of the radio again and some basic instructions. There you are. It's a very simple radio. Took everything out of the box. Let's get to the radio. Here we are. Boom. Silver Bryson, star of the show, and then they give us a little one piece of paper brochure of your instructions and specifications. There you go. Enjoy music and news everywhere. Yeah, definitely. Marketing at glucose.com. Is that what that says? What? <laughs> That's not, doesn't seem legit. Is that legit? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I just noticed that. And I've looked at this a few times. Wow. Okay, so there you go. Um, so here's the radio. Let's go over dimensions. We are four and three quarter inches in length. We have a height of two and three quarters. And we have a width of one and one quarter inch. So not bad. Let's uh, compare it to some other radios here. We have CC Skywave in the house. So it's about a uh, little smaller than the Skywave. Nice. And then we have, what else we have hanging out? We have CC Pocket always. Current time, I believe, is 11.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. In case we do some band scans. Beautiful. And, of course, and if you don't have that, we have Iron Man. <laughs> Standard deck, playing cards. He's the man with the master plan. He has no idea who Silver Bryson is, man. <laughs> Here we go. Pretty cool. Here's an idea for size of this little pocket radio. Um, Yeah, it's pretty neat. So, yeah, for size... Uh, easily carried, um, again, table form factor. You can stand it up. There's no back stand to it, but it stays put when you set it down. Um, yeah, it's real simple. I like it. Simplicity is nice. All right, let's go ahead and zoom it on down. And we'll start talking about features of the Silva Bryson AM FM weather band portable radio. Now, they have a larger version, which I'm going to review as well. I picked that one up. Uh, the model number on this one is the GS9202WB, <laughs> if that means anything to you. But uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. So yeah, the plastics aren't too bad for inexpensive radio. we got a volume on-off control on the left-hand side. We have a headphone jack. Headphone experience is pretty good. Uh, I have slight low-level hiss coming out of there. Uh, FM mono, both ears, no stereo. Bummer. Uh, wish it did. Uh, when you're in FM band, expect uh, light lows, strong mids, and moderate highs. So it's definitely a brighter tone. AM is different. AM is a, a lower tone, which is good for talk radio mainly. And of course, on the weather band, uh, it has a nice neutral tone, which is easy to listen to. So there you are. Headphone jack. Going to the front, we see you got a sticker I didn't take off. I just like leaving the stickers on. That's just me. No weather radio. Behind here, I think we have a two and a quarter inch speaker. And there, vented holes, nice. All plastic, no soft touch whatsoever. Here we have this, like I said, this Toshiba looking clear plastic thing. It does move a little bit. You can hear that. It doesn't want to fall off, but rattles a little bit. So we have our dial here. Uh, AM starting from the bottom up, as you can see, and FM 88108, and our weather band, again, going from bottom up. Not bad. A little red LED for power indication. And Silver Bryson, again, I don't know who that is. If you guys know, tell me. Um, here are tuning control. Uh, it's it's a DSP radio, digital signal processor, so you have to take your time tuning it. It's definitely not smooth analog tuning. Uh, DSP is notchy, and sometimes on AM, you got to go back and forth. FM, it's pretty good, but you got to go slow to get a lot of stations. We've got an integrated carry strap, as you can see, coming out of the radio. Nice. And, of course, band select, uh, FM, AM, weather band. Nice. Top of the radio, you can see where it says tuning. So you can tune from the top or the side. Great. And we got this little baby antenna. 
Um, it measures 13 and a half inches, but does a fantastic job pulling in stations. I might try it without hooking a wire to it when I do an FM band scan in this video. It's that good. Um, usually in the subfloor basement, it doesn't, radios don't do as well. This one's been rocking. So I showed you the back already, but it gives you a close-up of the frequency information there. And it runs on two AA batteries um, behind this door here. Here we go. Positive to the right. It's just basic. I like how the battery's on the bottom like that. It's good for weight balancing. And it's got a little battery strap to pull the batteries out. So very handy. I like seeing those little little things. That's what matters. There we go. Snap back into place. All right. So that's it. We should start jamming out. So uh, let's uh, talk about FM reception report. Then we'll get into uh, audio demonstration. And then we'll cruise the FM band, the weather band, and the AM band and uh, see what's out there with this little guy. So on FM, uh, during the day, I, I always sit in the same spot. Uh, I check for tropospheric ducting or e-skipping, make sure none of that's going on so it doesn't skew results. Uh, I sat down with this radio, which is the whip antenna. I got 63 stations, which puts it in a solid good category. So I started as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent, and good is above average. So three-star rating is great for a $15, $16 radio. I like it. And selectivity was good as well. I was picking up faint stations next to strong stations with a little bit of work, taking your time, tuning it, going slow. So you expect uh, a nice FM experience from this radio. Speaker is pretty bright, uh, so when you're using this, um, don't jam it too loud or it might hurt your ears. <laughs> it gets a little too bright sometimes with the volume. That's one thing I noticed. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on. A radio Totterbert. So on the side here, we got an on-off switch. And I must have bumped it, so let's see if we can find Radio Totterbert. We are on FM, correct? Yep. There it is. So we'll demo for just a minute or two, and then we'll start going through the bands. But I'm using this C Crane FM transmitter too, tuned to 97.7, playing royalty free music with my Sony MP3 player attached. Let's try and get this over here. You guys can see what's playing. Awesome. Let's go back. So, it gives you a general idea. It's definitely a bright audio, and uh, 
If you compare it to my other videos, it gives you a general idea of what to expect. And I figure I'm gonna see. I'm gonna reach over here, grab a few radios. I got radios all over my bench. I got the CO down. This is known for good bass. So I'm gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna plug in the frequency, and we'll see what this sounds like compared to the other radio. Okay, I got it going. So we'll turn this one down. And then we'll put the R108 just to give you an idea for speaker difference. So you see you got a little bit of low end there uh, compared to the brightness. So I kind of wanted to show that off. Good. All right, cool. Yeah, that's fun. That's the R108. It's a little bit more expensive radio. It's like a $50 radio. I think on sale around 46 bucks usually, if you're curious. But this is about the no weather radio because that radio I just showed you does not have weather band. This does. It's important, especially when you want to know what's going on when it's storming around your neighborhood. Um, so, yeah. Uh, NOAA weather reception was great on this radio. I found five stations well above average. Um, I'm sure I'm going to find the same. So we're just going to extend this antenna, and we're going to see what we can find with just this whip, not hooked up to anything. See, there we go. There's our antenna. I'm going to turn off the FM transmitter here, get that so it doesn't skew anything up. And if we need the wire, I do have a wire handy uh, nearby that I can clip to the antenna if I want to. Just gives me a little 12 foot wire to my window blinds to get me out of the subfloor basement. All right, cool. So let's uh, switch it to weather band and see what we can pick up with this antenna. So we go here, switch it down to weather band. We will start at the bottom and work our way up. And I may have to move that antenna around a little bit. So let's go ahead and turn this up. Wednesday. Strong to severe storms will be possible over the southern half of Lake Michigan. There will one. be additional thunderstorm chances late Thursday night into Friday night. Now for the official national weather service forecast for southeast zero, zero Wisconsin, megahertz. including Milwaukee, Waukesha, and Jefferson. Tonight, partly cloudy until early morning, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of light showers and thunderstorms early in the morning east of Wisconsin. For tonight, an air quality advisory has been issued by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources due to ozone and lingering smoke from wildfires across southeastern Wisconsin. Yeah, Canadian wildfires, fun. That might be Channel 3. Overnight with threats for torrential downpours, frequent lightning, and damaging hail. And now the extended outlook for the period Wednesday through Monday. Wednesday through Friday. Limited severe thunder hours. Oh wow, that was another at one. 11 cool. p.m. at Chicago O'Hare, it was mostly cloudy. So we're the, was the five stations so far as Channel 5 right now. 66. And the relative humidity was 62%. The heat index was 82 the wind was southeast at 8 miles an hour. I think it's a little bleed over from Channel 5. 1 to 2 feet. Friday, channel 7. Northwest winds 10 to 15 knots becoming north 10 so, to 20 knots. Yeah, we just picked up 6. Beautiful. Waves one to so awesome little weather radio with great reception. Um, that's a big bonus on this radio. Love it. So let's go ahead and uh, go down to the FM band. We'll go through it and hear what we hear. I can't hover on the music, so I'll go kind of quickly over those. So if you hear a good song and I don't like hover on it, it's not because I don't like it. It's because I can't hover on it. <laughs> I'd love to hover. So let's switch it to FM, which I think is the middle, right, guys? FM, yep. Okay, so we're going to go ahead... And I gotta move some boxes because I think I'm hitting them with the little antenna here. Little 13 inches gets you pretty good. Now, if you wanted a little wire, this one's pretty good. Like I did a an 80. I just picked one up. Um, I use a Kato T1 as well. This one was just on sale, I think, for like $11. And it's the same deal, pretty much as the Kato. Nice thing about this one has a clip on the end of it, like the Sanjin AN60, so or ANT60. But yeah, pretty cool. So put that aside. All right, let's cruise the FM band. This is fun. Well, and then, of course, AM. We'll see what we can pick up on the AM band. 
We'll talk about that in a sec. So FM, we're just using the whip here. All right. Feel about it, Jerry. You've been to our home. I have scripture pictures and and we're Dial accuracy, dial accuracy is fairly good with that dial indicator. If you notice, it, it is rather large. Uh, you do get a dial scale, which is nice, a little log scale there. Uh, but uh, it, it's rather large. It's somewhat accurate on the dial. Uh, for example, do we need to change perhaps the way we work, the way we travel? Uh, send us your thoughts by text and WhatsApp to plus four four. 77, 86, 20, 50, 85. Quite a bit again, just the whip. Helping hook up to it. Nice. This is a great little FM radio. Excellent. So yeah, I'm near Chicago, Illinois. That's why I'm picking up all these stations from Chicago, Wisconsin. So yeah, kind of a tri-state area. Another good song. everything and they're not even moving it the whip around <laughs> it's great Storm, otherwise partly sunny, high 87. Wednesday night, clear in 67. Thursday. There you go, there's the FM band. Awesome. That sells the radio right there to me. That in the NOAA weather reception. Fantastic. Um, okay, so I'm going to lower this antenna here, of course. The AM band uses an internal antenna. Um, during the day on the AM band, um, it did great on locals, but fairly good on semi-locals. So it's kind of quiet on a lot of my semi-locals. So don't expect like high-end reception on AM during the day. Uh, in the evening, of course, a lot of these radios wake up. Uh, we might pick up a lot. So let's uh, hear what it sounds like on the AM band in the evening. Now again, current time. Oh, where's my pocket? There it is. 11.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. And we'll hear what we can pick up. Turn this up. 
Chuck tune and away. I think it's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. It's kind of hard to pick up on most of my radios. But it should come in louder than that. Oops, can get everybody to just do exactly what you're doing and set their... Here's 560, I believe, WIND, Chicago. Thursday, Friday, to 9 p.m. Eastern. My life is golden, and I can keep doing this for as long as you'll have me. I just wanted to check one thing real quick. I don't. Some say you kind of beat a dead horse. Well, the horse isn't dead. Yet. It's gonna go up the band. Down back top, the Cardinals three one, and the Giants double up on the A's two one. And from the NBA, the Celtics and Jalen Brown reportedly agree to a five-year Supermax deal, $304 million, as that is now the richest contract in NBA history. I'm Marco Belletti. Follow us anytime on Twitter. Our handle is at CBS Sports Radio. CBS Sports Radio. 6.70 to score. Home of the Cubs, 6 at WCR. Went back down. And enjoy 32 miles of powdery soft white sand beach. Fresh built seafood and attraction. Activity. This could be 650 Nashville, Tennessee. I can check with the Skywave. Plug it in real quick. Yes, it is. So 650 Nashville, Tennessee. It's 434 miles to the south. Of course, the radio can point to the north as well. Sweet. I guarantee we'll cancel your time share or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. 800 462 3333. That's 800 462 3333. Stronger stations definitely take up quite a bit of the dial, as you can see. Business owners and professionals face special out there. This part is. So we lose 700, but here's 720. What happened? is that WGN Japan's Chicago? run out of storage, is the bottom line. They, they, they built uh -huh. so many tanks, and they can't do it anymore. So they have uh, gone to uh, the UN and to the uh, IAE for approval on this. So, uh, you know, you can... you can Hunter Biden and James Biden, hundreds of thousands of dollars, when or whatever. Now, okay, we're, we're yeah, jumping. And Joe Biden. We're jumping to 760 from 720, so I'm not getting 740. I think it's 740. I'm just going to check on the Skyway to see if 740 is available. Sometimes it isn't. So 740 is down. Okay, let's see if 750. Yeah, so that's why it jumped right to 760 because 740 and 750 aren't coming in well. So here's WGR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. think they're getting Xanax while it's being mixed with fentanyl. Everyone's learning about the dangers of fentanyl and how to use medication. So here's a 780 WBBM Chicago. Overdose can help save lives. Carolina Garibay, News Radio 105.9 WBBM. The Democratic Party came to an agreement with Chicago Labor Union. 24-hour Democratic National Convention. Democrat National Committee Chairman Jamie Harrison said it should be no surprise. Keep going the wrong way. <laughs> those things, you also need the right kind of tax and regulatory policies from the President and Congress. I think that uh, some of the Hawks are probably That's correct. Local. The, the interest rate is not unduly high at the moment. And in fact, um, the interest rates are reaching levels that if they were to stay there for the longer term would probably be very stabilizing for the economy in a good way. This is 830 WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles to the west. That's not just because of any concerns about the, you know, returning to the Fed's baleful history. I think too, but he's so brainwashed that uh, into believing that he's... Uh, 
fulfilling a prophecy or the will of God. Um, I think I went the right way. 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. 300 miles to the southeast. It is 840. I was going the wrong way again. <laughs> WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. It was lost in Ukraine, but of course the, the religious the cleric of Ukraine said, well, that just proves the Antichrist. Yeah, it should. Position to power. What does Putin, does Putin believe that in science, or does he believe in, you know, what does he believe in? Well, I know he used to go on prayer retreats all the time. At least that's what they were saying. 840 still? <laughs> we gotta get out of here. I think it's a hint of CJBC 860. Yeah, French speaking. Going backwards. Okay, this is cool. Gripping up about 850 KOA Denver, Colorado. 890 miles. I'm going to cruise with the rest of the band. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> you need it with this on the AM band. But you're able to pick up quite a bit. Different story uh, during the day. We stand up to cancer. On Saturday, August 19th, join Stand Up to Cancer for all the inspiration. Scoop 1000, WMVP Chicago. Family and friends and everyone who is battling this disease. Celebrating all the progress and innovation. So just stand up with us. One night to save lives. There's WHO 1040, Des Moines, Iowa. Can be hot. Um, 280 miles to the west. Cool, get the call letters. Top of the band.
for your free online visit. That's Okay, cool. We made it. All right, so let's say I'm banded. It's finicky in the evening. As you can tell, it takes a lot of back and forth trying to figure out where you're at. If you wait a little bit, they'll give you the call letters. Um, this radio will pick up uh, distant stations. I was able to pick up uh, Boston and, and New York City and that with it, too. So it just depends on the evening. Right now, we're having a little tough time, but uh, not too bad. Uh, overall, is it worth uh, $16.99? Yeah, if you like the form factor, AA powered. Uh, basic AM FM radio with the weather band. Don't forget that. That's a really neat feature. Um, final thoughts on this bad boy. Um, I like the FM and weather band reception. It's definitely a winner. Just moving my notes here. Um, yeah, I like the, the reception I get with the FM and weather band. AM, decent in the evening. Uh, just selectivity is tough. I think I was going up and down. It's kind of weird. It seems backwards. Like I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm not used to this. T tuning from the bottom here and tuning from the top. <laughs> it's kind of nice though. That does the whole whole corner. Uh, but uh, I like the uh, FM reception and weather band reception. Uh, it says decent AM, AM reception in the evening. Double A powered, which is fantastic. Uses standard batteries. That's what you're going to want in an emergency because it's a great little emergency radio. Um, I like the headphone jack, the inclusion of that. Uh, it's nice listening, uh, especially in FM and uh, weather band. Uh, and of course, it's easy to operate. Uh, what I don't like about it is it's uh, speakers a bit on the tinny or bright side. When you turn the volume up, that is an issue. Um, you can't really jam out to your favorite music because you probably hurt your ears. But uh, it's still nice, you know, at a moderate volume to lower volume. And of course, no FM stereo on the headphone jack. That had been kind of a nice little plus. I'd have been excited if it had FM stereo. But you can't expect everything. But there you are. The Silver Bryson AM FM Weather Band Portable Radio, mile number GS9202WB. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big like if you did. Uh, two, if you like these type of radios and you want to see more inexpensive AM FM Weather Band radios, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future uh, reviews. I do have another one coming up, so a little bit larger, AC powered as well. Nice, uh, with the same setup. And uh, three, comment below what you think about this particular model. Do you like it? Um, would you rather have something different? Um, What's your idea of a nice little weather radio uh, that you like to have in your pocket? I think this is nice because it runs on standard batteries. It's my opinion. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.